a blast of B O L. Everybody asking, it's time that we tell the whole story. Wrap up in a vlog like a shell. Got some crazy ideas to make your head swell. I can't say too much. I let the cat out the bag. Real, not perfect. You will see the hashtag places we like to go, our food we like to eat, and all the crazy things that make me unique. Got the usual world vlog. This one gonna be wild. Challenges like life or even lifestyle. Reality checks to make you open your mind. So like, subscribe, and enjoy the vibe. Pile of love or P O L. Pile of love or P O L. Pile of love or P O L. P the O the L. Pile of love or P O L. Pile of love or P O L. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. This is our third episode, and let me start by saying happy belated Father's Day. If belated also applies to Father's Day, the greetings I get that's for birthday greetings. Happy belated Father's Day for all the fathers out there watching all the prospective fathers. Happy birth happy sorry Father's Day to you. <laughs> happy Father's Day to you as well. Now this episode we are going to spend some time with my daddy. We get to I will introduce it. Well, I'm not really introduced. So let really let me do that now. My father's name is Peter Ford. My name is Peter because I got my name for him. So we spent the day with him on Sunday and you're going to get to see some highlights of that. It's Father's Day in Barbados. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, today we are on our way to go pick up my daddy. Jason's daddy is deceased a few years now. So we usually just spent the day with my daddy and then Jason's also a daddy so happy father's day to you thank you and we are going to dinner first and then we are going to hit the beach I'm late all of a sudden my father become a beach bum I don't know how this thing happened so we're gonna have some lunch and then we're going to the beach to the beach to the beach to the beach, to the beach. but I just wanted to share with you first one of my most recent favorite memories of me so that is always been a giver he gives 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 everything he would not really talk and say anything but he communicates through his actions like i was telling someone recently the security and stability that my father offered is unmatched if my father said something is going to happen i'm telling you you could depend on it even but sometimes just, oh, just, so just get upset you sometimes because i oh, accustomed to when my father says something it is so i don't know men saying something and then doing something a little different sometimes because daddy gave me that security so thanks daddy but my most recent favorite memory would be my wedding now throughout the process he had given me some money and stuff a couple thousands of dollars to help with the preparation and things but we did not plan for a rainy day. In fact, we planned a morning garden wedding. And it rained cats and dogs. When we went to the venue, the area where we wanted to get married was so waterlogged. We could not have it where we wanted to have it. And then the um, open space overlooking some parts of Barbados, as I said, just when it was open. So everywhere was wet. So the um, event strategist there at Gun Hill, shout out to Kevin, because he was really good. He was really helpful should well not should things go wrong because things went wrong but he was there so thank you kevin for that but he was like well we will have to probably get some tanks and stuff and say obviously don't buy the wedding day the only money that me and jason had if any was little spending money for the honeymoon because after all all the expenses were taken care of and that was it ain't a saint left so it was like before even a second thought, Daddy was like, "So how much the things will cost? You gotta get the tank. You gotta tank and tank and tank." He was like, "Alright, Peter, come and join me." And we just went not to the ATM, and Daddy came back with the money and basically saved the day. And that is just how I know my Daddy. When I was growing up, if we were at home hungry, we used to live in St. John. If I used to work on the road, but he was mainly stationed in Spring Garden, I could call and say, "Daddy, I want Shafet, or Daddy, I want KFC." And my Daddy then just used to bring for me and Andy. My cousins that were there would get everybody would get something. So daddy, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will treat you for as long as I can. We are here by my father and we throw on every style. We have to wait on him. On the cast the bottom. Yeah, Barbie, <laughs> like so there will be a lot of conversation. A lot of topics and then we'll be here like, just as I am now, as you can see, I am already back And the conversation has started. So I was right, but I was also right. Because I saw it was going to be a lot of music, politics, on cricket. We were talking about the Hurricane season. Still my two favorite men in this world. 
because I didn't want it to do that. Because they did not have enough reservations. So then we decided to come to the barbecue bar. And the men are the men again, the men just want to eat. So here we are. That is something down there. If you can see in the blue, keeping anything on. Go for my mother's ear at all. You're right. But sir, everybody beginning. I don't know what's that for lunch. Daddy memory. Uh, I have a few. Daddy was one of them kidders. Like, enough sport, tall, enough jump. Um, favorite memory is the time we came home and we was playing. Me and all my friends, we had a Sega Genesis. And Daddy was like, wait, wanna play Street Fighter? Who let me play somebody here, man? Pick game for me. I see a wait. My father know who's Ken, but I was just the kind of sporty guy he was. He would just be into the hip stuff and just one max sport, that's fun loving, that's yeah, RIP dad. Uh happy fathers there to all fathers, godfathers, stepfathers, grandfathers. Anybody pay that father for the rule. Anybody. Look at yourself. Keep it up. Later. But our challenge this week is gonna be pretty interesting. We gathered four fathers and we put them up to a cooking challenge. The first two contestants in the cook-off is Jason and Jamar. Why are you tell us first what you're cooking? I am cooking my signature dish, which is macaroni pie. <laughs> Ari and Jason. Here you go. Get this. I'm doing it. Pizza with no dough. Flawless pizza. Come in, sir. Check what's going on here. Secret recipe. You have 45 minutes. Of course. <laughs> you have 45 minutes to start. I mean, to complete your dish. This is including plating it and everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are your toy begins? No. Yeah. This way you want want but I have a point in my point, you guys. Point for one of the Google app? Whatever happened, you see? I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna see it. You have to run with that, you know? 15 minutes gone, you have 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes left. Hold on, let me show you what's going on here. I can't wait, I'm gonna hear this. Get in here. What are you doing for time? I am. How much more? 15 gone? Half an hour left? Hey, let me close. Let me close. Let me close. Because when you tank, and then 20. Right. When you plan it, so you start going like this. Next question I can answer, what the fuck is this? What are we doing here? I'm a Jamar. How are you doing for time? I'm great for time. Great for time. 
<laughs> everything going as planned? Everything going as planned. I forget to say, but I forget what is it. Where they dine it with my girl? You finally got your wallet to buy? Yeah, the wallet. It looks so. I ain't sure about it, but you don't know. I don't want that. I don't want that. Going in? I don't know how much time, but I'm going in. <laughs> Yeah, my baby's standing hot one as well. I want you hot one. These are the dagger. These are the dagger. These are the dagger. I don't want that. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. You know what I'm going to eat. 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 I'm going to <laughs> I don't know why you're hitting this so much time. <laughs> Boom. That's the problem. That's already time going too much styles in the kitchen, man. Aye. Let's go. I want to say what? It's a pressure. Oh, man. You better go outside. So, <laughs> man. You get one large hot shell there. You have a two tall man. <laughs> right now, you know what the shell good for you, know? Wait, wait, you just started. You want to take it more, though? You can eat the whole shell. You should have had another, another um, pack of macaroni, though. See what going on here. Uh, see what going on here, though, people. Spread it out evenly. Symmetrical. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. I've got a little um, coloring food, coloring book there. Yeah. Ah, yeah, we got some more. They're ready for the oven. But how many minutes to spare six? How many we got? How many we got? So you got a plot and Jamar. <laughs> Where's the competition? There's none. <laughs> The first meal of the oven is just cauliflower stuff. I don't know. Remind us of ingredients again. Cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> right, cauliflower, egg, cheese, ketchup, hot sauce. Alright, Jack out of the oven is Jamar with his macaroni pie. Tell us about your dish, the ingredients, how you feel about it. I feel great about my dish, you know. Um, ingredients are macaroni, of course. We have cheese, some more cheese, onions, some sweet pepper, some ketchup, but if you put it in yourself. Um, egg, maggie cube, and a foil pan. <laughs> no. I, feel, I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I, feel good about it. I don't want to tell you yet to eat pizza. Right? Just get that up in a hurry. Pizza. Round two. Are you cooking challenge? Jeff CT. Ramon. Uh -huh. AKA Jimmy. Moisture. Um, we're cooking Jesse. First today. Doing some baked potatoes and some baked chicken. What are you doing, Ramon? Are you doing some. I'm trying to find a name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, mix meat and pasta. Mix meat and pasta. Yeah. This All right. Lick your fingers and warm them. No. The time begins now. 45 minutes. Time and they're off. <laughs> a little timidity second round here. Oh, this thing is like going off a lamb. This is no lamb. <laughs> change, change it, change it. Think this is no call. Lick your fingers and want more. What? You guys are prepping here in the early season. Jeez. Rare. It looks like Jesse T is ready to enter the oven. Uh-huh. With his ramen. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile. So I'm not putting who up in the in the fire. If nothing else, why would I play the fire little or nothing, man? Me, why? Me, why? Jimmy, what are you doing, buddy? You, you, you on? Yeah. Tom, I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Oh, right, gang. Oh, I'm going to play the mark. At the 30 minute mark, back in there with uh, Chef Jimmy, aka Tom, how are you, you doing, buddy? You, uh, you, you on track with time? Alright, alright, moving on, moving on. Jesse T. Oh, yeah. 
Rockstar. What happened, fam? We here. Potatoes here. We coming. Potatoes feel are coming. The meat in, in the oven. Fifteen minutes just so gone. How oh, are you looking? How oh, are you looking? How oh, are you looking? Perfect. Oh, you're fifteen minutes to go for you gonna make it? Jesse? I struggling. I struggling. <laughs> Jesse be in the oven for a minute, but yeah, we ain't only about fifteen minutes to go. Come and see him now. You see how we looking? Uh, fine. Alright, we got five minutes to go. <laughs> He's on. It looks like the gentleman here is ready. The five minutes ago, you feeling? You feeling? No. Confidence, confidence. confidence. No, we got some confidence. Oh no, looking. Okay. Yeah. Chef number two. Yeah. Just playing the night, you know, everything in the oven. So we got uh, dish number three. Jimmy, Thomas. Tell us all the ingredients and how you feel about the overall dish. To be honest. It was walking the park. <laughs> <laughs> moisture. It just, it just makes me. Just moisture. A, a slight hint of moisture. Right. Right. But it can be joy. Well done, makes me. Yeah. Corn and vegetables. A slight cheddar cheese. Yeah. That's what you want to tell me? <laughs> That's it all, sir. That's it all? Yes, sir. There you have it. What's the name of dish again? Pasta and makes me. Let your fingers and ask for more. Alright, last dish. Plate, quotation marks. Jesse, how you feel with the dish? Um, and what are the ingredients? Firstly, I feel hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, you know, no Maggi cubes, ketchup, paprika, seasoning, special sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, you know, it wasn't really too challenging. And, just ready to eat. something special <laughs> potatoes and chicken right just after two hours of conversation we have four different meals a pizza macaroni pie knit your finger till you want more and baked potatoes and baked chicken this is Jesse T's dish Ramon our tall man's dish Jamar's dish and Jason's dish. Dish number one. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, sir, for no action. Judge the decision is final. No action, please. Dish number two. This is, remember, this is Jesse T on the uh, chicken and potato with a secret sauce. Entitled something special. Whoa. I'll buy a soul. Okay, okay. <laughs> quiet, quiet, please. That is in his final. Please, sir. Number two. Flow with this pizza. So I'm struggling with your little boy. Oh, Lord. And that I'm not struggling with your little boy. That is called pasta and meat sauce, aka lick your fingers and come back from, for more. By Jimmy Tallman. Moisture. Moisture. Very interesting <laughs> twist. <laughs> the giant was asked for a second tasting of the potato and chicken. <laughs> Is it that the bird has flown away? Bloom. <laughs> you have no idea. Time will tell. So in fourth position we have Jamari back. <laughs> four out of four here. <laughs> and that is due to the lack of the ketchup, the taste, the color. Being honest. Well, my yeah. respect. Then, that, was, that was in the rear. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> we have in third position we have. Let your finger and come back for more. Oh what? Dog, yes, we smell the spice and everything, but to deliver the spice, the, the flavor that we did not get. In, in second position, yeah. we have Mr. Jason over there with the flourless pizza. Come on, dear. I want to recall. It was hot. Originality, wait, wait, wait. Hey, what I got? Normal dishes. Hey, <laughs> 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 
And of course, we have the winner, Mr. Jesse T over there in the purple. Okay. <laughs> Everything was well put together. Fast and time. You should get more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. But. What? That put you in a sadder. Where am I the one you doing? That put you in a sadder. So I meant offset, I'm going to put it in a point salt, that's just better. That's just better. Yeah? Why would they have gone? So where they are there for the boy of this? The second part of our challenge for this week took the girls to the more emotional side of themselves. And that challenge will replace our reality check. Check it out. daughter seeing this five years from now I just want her to know that I believe in you from now and you know there's nothing you can't achieve without effort you're very smart and I will be behind you in everything you do you know take your time don't rush your youth because you can't reverse it this is daddy speaking in life always reach beyond the stars be a leader Follows anything you do, you back your hundred percent. I love you. Hi, Jada's dad here. Um, Jada, I want you to remember to always focus. As I keep telling you in life, things don't come easy, hard work pays off. You have to focus, you have to plan, you have to execute. As long as they have life, they will always be here to support you in everything that you do. I will always be here to back you no matter what. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I made, you can make new mistakes, but not the same mistakes that I made. I remember I love you. You know, Daddy here, I want you to remember five things, always in your life. Five essential things. One, always trust your instinct. Your instinct will never lie to you. You will know exactly what to do. Always, always trust your instinct. Secondly, have only good people around you have your best interests at heart. You will know who those persons are. Thirdly, Focus, never lose focus. If you have something a goal to achieve, never lose focus. Keep on it, stay on it, and you will achieve it. Hard work, okay? Four point is find someone to love and love them very hard. You will not be ready. Right person, find someone to love. Them. Fifth, whenever there's problems, trouble, or anything, talk to God first. First. Alright? Bye, Jay. God love you. The conclusion of our Father's Day. Daddy, you had a good time? <laughs> you had a good time? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. Comment. I'm wishing you. Happy Father's Day. Of... What that's